So I've never done this with Chewy, but I'm going to teach Chewy to bring his hip in. Well, he already knows how to move his hip away, but I'm going to teach him how to move his hip in. So the way I'm going to start is I'm just going to wiggle my finger to him. I'm going to present the whip as an extension of my finger. I'm going to start to smooch, and then I'm going to start to tap on him right up here on top. I'm not going to reach across and drive him. I'm just going to reach up here and tap him right on top. His job is to try to figure out what do I have to do to make the tapping stop. He may try to shoot forward. He may try to scramble backwards. He may try to run into the wall to get away. <laughs> that's an accident. But as soon as that hip comes to me, that's where I'm going to quit. So I'm going to get his hip around. I try to use a bit on a horse just in case one gets kind of really scared. I, I have a little better control of getting him shut down here. So I'm going to wiggle my finger, I'm going to wiggle my whip, I'm going to start to smooch, and if he doesn't come, I'm going to start to tap on him. There. there. And even if that was an accident, I quit. I wanted to know, hey, that, that's what made this, the tapping stop. I'll wiggle my finger, I'll wiggle my whip, I'll smooch. He moves away, I'll just start tapping on him. If he gets stalled up like this, I'll encourage some motion forwards or backwards. And I'll just kind of keep tapping on him there. As soon as his hip came to me, I just quit. I'll pet on him there for a second. I'll put my finger up, wiggle my whip. There. There, if he came to me, I'll just quit. It might have been accidental, I don't know. We'll test him here in a minute. I'll wiggle my finger, wiggle, there. He came to me, I quit. There, I'll quit. There, if he moves away, just kind of keep tapping. If he locks up here, just encourage some motion. There, as soon as those hind feet come in, quit. There, there you go. I'll let him kind of think about it. Ask him again. He moves away, just follow him out there. There. Daddy. There. Yeah. Boop. If he comes in without instruction, I'll drive him back. I raise my hand. There. I raise my hand. Good. I'll just pet him for that, let him think about it. I want him to position himself right where I could just get on him. Just go ahead and keep recording there. I'm lazy. I'll just bring him back out. I'll realign him here to the wall. I'll pet him. See if he wants to come. There. Good. I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for that. There. 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 So I want my horse looking for and responding to the tiniest cue I can give him. What's this mean? That's right. So you just you just watch that happen uh, live and in uh, real time. So. It convinces us that we can teach our horse to understand and respond to the tiniest cue we can give them. All we gotta do is escalate the cue a little bit, maintain the escalation till we get a hint of proper response and give an immediate and full reward for that hint of proper response. I'm gonna let him think for a second. And we'll just do it one more time. Line him up on the wall here. I like to use a wall or a fence. Move the hip away, please. Come forward. Good. Bend your hip. Good. Good. Bend your hip. Good. 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 
One more. Good. And that's where we'll put on him for the day. That was pretty good. Can I end recording?